like icebergs to us. You know, we kind of grumbled at them. <laughs> because in Newfoundland, like, we fish and the icebergs are in the way. <laughs> You're leaving to go out 200 miles off, trying to get around those icebergs, you know, they're, they're uh, like a speed bump. <laughs> if you run into one, like the Titanic ran into one, right? If you make your living at sea, you take what the sea gives you. In Newfoundland, the sea has given them cod. That was my life. I grew up as a fisherman. They overfished it. Like in the 90s, they shot it down. Then shrimp. Now the shrimp is gone. Then crab. And now they're cutting the crab. I mean, the crab is almost cut in half now. As the North Atlantic has been overfished, fishermen have turned their sights on a new bumper crop of icebergs. There's more ice breaking off the polar cap with the climate change, so there's more icebergs coming south. It's resulted in iceberg harvesting for iceberg water, beer, vodka. But mostly, the icebergs have brought tourists. I'm captain of this little tour company. I mean, I only started last year about this little boat. So once again, the sea's bounty is lifting up the province. People flew to Newfoundland, you know, from Asia, from everywhere, all over the world, just for an iceberg. We are here to visit the iceberg. This is the first time in my life. When I was a teenager, my dream is go to Greenland. So yeah, the iceberg has come from Greenland. There's a few reasons for why icebergs have become such a big draw in Newfoundland. First off, it's basically the only convenient place in North America to see them. These icebergs are at least 10,000 years old when they break off the polar cap. And over two to three years, the Labrador current carries them south. It's also become easier to find them through an online map hosted by the government and people sharing iceberg locations through social media. Now, the polar cap is indeed melting at an unprecedented rate. Did you see the big piece? There was a big crack in the polar cap and they were expecting a really big piece to break off. That's what happens for us to get icebergs. But it's actually, counterintuitively, the colder winters that bring more icebergs to Newfoundland because the pack ice protects it as they drift into comparatively warmer waters. And so last year, there was over a thousand icebergs, including this one, which went totally viral. But this year, it's been a much slower year. The winds are changed. Like last year, like almost every day, it was northeasterly wind. But this year, like the winds are opposite, like southwest. So instead of pushing the ice towards land, it's pushing it off. That could be a big impact on our business for this year. Fresh iceberg, only just caught. Still flicking, that is. Tens of thousands of euros. Oh, good. Good. I got seven people working with me that have jobs because of icebergs. The jobs thing is a big deal. Newfoundland has the highest unemployment of any Canadian province. And with the decline of the fisheries, the province has strategically invested in tourism to attract visitors to these stunning landscapes. And millennial age tourists now make up a sixth of all visitors. I think there's just been a, a shift in the mindset of travel. It has been uh, fostered by Instagram and, and things that makes this aspiration to be in the image. I say to people, Newfoundland is essentially the cheaper Iceland. Tourism is growing, but, you know, I can anticipate, like, uh, you know, an end to it. Once the adventurous people see everything, will there be more people to come? Oh, you think the, the adventurous people might run out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. not the icebergs. Really, there's two types of people, right? You got people that travel, and you got people that don't. <laughs> like, you got people that live at home. They're content to live home and, and do their job and get up in the morning, go to bed in the night, and they'll never go to Newfoundland to see an iceberg, and they'll, you know, they'll never do anything. They'll just live their life and die. Will it be sustainable? Like, you know, is it going to last?
Thanks for watching. If you like this, you can subscribe to our channel and click here to watch more videos about our changing climate.